Number five, it wants us to square the entire thing. That means I'm taking the a cubed n to the fifth y and multiplying it by itself. That's how I need to always look at this. Whenever it has something squared, you're taking the entire thing and multiplying by itself. Now, I'm going to write this one out, at least for the first one, because it's going to take me an extra, I don't know, what was that, seven seconds? And now I can see, okay, A, 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 and some of us need to see that. Sixth, N, 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 that's N to the tenth. And then you have a Y and another Y, so you have Y squared. So here is your final answer to number five. Number six, it says square that. So I want to multiply the whole thing by itself again. Five times five, 25. N squared, N squared. We're now visualizing. That means into the fourth. Y3, Y3. I can see three and three. That's six. Negative two N Y cubed. So I got to do negative two N Y times another one times another one. Okay, well, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. n times n times n is n cubed, and a y times y times y is y cubed. Nice and simple. If you write it out and think what it's saying. Okay, it says take this whole thing and square it. In other words, take the whole thing and multiply it by itself. Well, 3 times 3, 9. A times A, A squared. You have BBB, BBB, that's B to the what? Six, and then C times C is C squared.